Hey everyone, Jessica here, and today I'm playing along with the Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group with Sarah Scraps, and this month's theme is to use branding strips or ribbons or trims on your layout. So I'm pulling out a stencil here to start my layout with some Distress Oxide, and I am just going to use a blending brush here to just kind of stencil on some of these little X's, but honestly, I cover most of them up. There's only a couple that peek through in the end, so that wasn't my plan. I wanted uh, a lot of these to peek out but um i didn't i didn't go back and add anymore i just left it the way it was so i am going to pull out this kit this is the rad limitless kit from not just for boys kit club i have a lot of it left over and i have a lot of branding strips in here um paper rose studio products like to finish off their branding strips which i absolutely love because i tend to use those on all my layouts and it just works out really well so i'm pulling out a bunch of the pieces of the branding strips that i have left and i'm cutting off other branding strips from these papers to use and then i'm going to actually throw on some trim and um, some tissue paper that I'm gonna stuff in there as well. So lots of different things going on here. So I'm using up these branding strips. I'm just tucking them in and kind of creating um, two vertical, or one horizontal line and one vertical line on my page. I wanna kind of stick with this corner design. And I've got two photos here of my silly boys. They were playing at our farm when we cut a couple trees down that had to be cut down to put an addition on our farmhouse. So they were loving the freshly cut tree and the little stump that they were playing on and just being super goofy. And I told them to smile, but you know, this is what I get with my goofy boys, but I absolutely love it. So I'm actually using a piece of black here that's actually a scrap from my scrap bin. And and I didn't use a full sheet of anything for this except for the white cardstock in my background. And then I just matted my photos here with this black. And then I'm just going to distress the edges of all of these branding strips or at least some of them. So I'm just sticking down these strips with my ATG gun and just arranging them here. I'm tucking a couple in behind them and just layering them on my paper. And then I'm going to use this piece of trim here that I have. This is also from one of the Not Just For Boys kits. And I'm just going to tuck this in here and do some machine stitching on that. So I'm going to do that off camera so you don't have to watch me sewing everything and kind of fiddling with it because it was hard to get that stuck in there because it's a little bit thicker than that paper. So it wanted to kind of jump out from behind the paper even though I had used some um, tape on that to hold it down it just didn't want to stay back there so I'm glad I put the machine stitching on there here in a moment to hold that all down I'm just going to finish tucking in a couple of these pieces on the tops and getting everything where I want it to be so I'm going to go ahead and stick that one down um, my two photos, I'm probably going to mat again with another one of the pattern papers from this kit that I have left over. So I'll pull a sheet of that out here in a moment. These little film strips are so awesome. I just love them. And I was really trying to make one or two of these work on this layout, but I just couldn't get them where I liked them. I thought they were just too big and they just didn't go with my design today. So I fiddle with them a bunch and kind of move this one around a lot, but I couldn't get it to work out in the end. So I ended up taking it back off but that's okay. Sometimes my plan doesn't always work out and it's all right. Actually, this layout was a struggle for me at first because um, I had started this layout one night and I worked on it a bunch and just kept fiddling with these little strips and where I wanted them to go. And I just, I couldn't figure out where I wanted to place my photos here and that film strip and where I wanted my title to go and everything. It was just a big struggle, but I think at that point, point in time my brain was just absolutely done for the day um, I had a stressful day at work that day and it just wasn't working out so I find sometimes if I'm struggling that it's just best to just walk away for a day or two leave it sit and kind of um, <laughs> kind of simmer in your mind and I come back to it with a fresh set of eyes and then it comes together so quickly so you're going to see the difference here in a moment when I switch days um, this matting, I matted my photos here and then, um, I think I get the placement of where I want that circle, but then I ended up moving it. So I think it's, 
right here is when I come back to it the next day with fresh eyes and immediately start back on it. And I'm like, okay, well, I can do this. I'm just going to tear a strip of this paper. I'm going to trim this down a little bit because it doesn't fit in there the way that I want it to. I just want a thin little piece to go with my other little strips. And I had trouble tucking that in, so I just cut it down a little bit more. And then went ahead and tucked that in there. I love that rip torn edge against those branding strips. So I just feel like it gives it more texture and just gave it an extra little something that it really needed to pop and it just is really coming together now the way that I wanted it to look just with all of the things and all those pretty layers and then there I did my machine stitching real quick I just ran some machine stitches across the top and across the, the side there down all of those strips so you can see that and I'm still fiddling with these film strips but here's where I'm like oh I just don't know that this is gonna work so I'm gonna end up taking them back out because I just don't like them in there so I'm gonna have to fiddle with them on another layout and see if I can get some of those used because I have a ton of them but there's my photos um, I've got my acrylic title piece now where I want it that's gonna stay over there and then I pulled out some of Vicki Booten's discover and create collection because the colors actually matched really well with this kit that I'm working with so I'm actually just pulling a few little bits off of that sticker sheet and here's where my tissue paper comes into play this is some tissue paper that my hip kit club kit was wrapped in at one point in time and I'm just cutting out a strip and I'm just bunching it in here in between these layers just to add a little extra something and this is where I absolutely love the layout at this point. After I add this tissue paper into the top and the side is where I just, I just love it. It's just, it seems like it's more me with all these layers and it just has my personal touch on it. And that's when I actually start to like the layout. So I don't always like everything that I create, but it's funny because it seems like the ones that I don't like are the ones that everyone else loves. But um, I have my own specific style and things that I like on my pages and I love to add like a bit of grunge to my pages and I feel like once I add this tissue paper in it really puts my signature look to it so I just I love it now I'm gonna leave that peak out at the top there I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue so that it sticks down and then I'm gonna add my photos right over top there but I just love the extra layering that that adds and just how that looks it's just so cool and it just goes perfectly with my silly little boys. So I've got my little puffy stars here that I absolutely love. I wish I had a thousand of them. I'm going to add another little Vicky Booten sticker right there. And um, I'm going to pull out some sequins from the Not Just For Boys Kit Club and add some of those as well. This is actually a little charm that came in the kit. So I'm going to add that with some twine that my kit was wrapped in. Uh, that's one thing that I love about the Not Just For Boys kits. They come wrapped up so cute with um, tissue paper and twine wrapped around every single kit and I always save that twine and use it because I love that twine. It's just such a good texture and feel and it just holds up so well. It's just easy to work with. So just use a little bit of glue on that metal charm just to hold that down. I had to hold it down for a little bit just because it was on a couple of those layers. So it, it um, took a little bit to stick that down, but um, it dried just fine and now it's on there. I'm just pulling out some of these die cuts that come with that kit. Um, these are also by Paper Rose, and I'm just gonna pull off a couple of these, maybe a couple of these little stars that are in this one. I also pull out um, some stars that I had already die cut. So I did a previous layout with this kit, and I had a whole bunch of die cut stars left over that I ran through my big shot with some dies. So I ended up actually using a couple of those on this layout too, I think. I think there's one laying at the top of my desk right now, actually. And um, yeah, these puffy stickers are so cute. These are from Vicki Booten's Discover and Create Collection too. And I just love them. They're so nice. You can use these for literally so many different occasions and layouts. And that's one thing I love about Vicky's collections because she seems like she creates for multiple occasions in every collection. So um, she may have something themed for a specific occasion, but yet you can still use it for other things, which I just love about her collections. So I find them really versatile. So I'm just looking through her sticker book, seeing if there's anything else I want to use. I'm going to pull out my date stamp at this point and go ahead and put my date on there. Put it down a couple times and then I'm going to add some sequins. I'm going to add another little stamping bit here with some stars in a minute. Went ahead and um, 
glued down my title piece because I know that's exactly where I want it to go. I'm not going to move it around anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those down stick that star down. I'm going to actually add a staple in that star too, just to give it a, a little bit extra texture and make sure that it stays there. It didn't really want to stick to that tissue paper very well. And then I glued down the other little star from the little paper rose die cuts. I'm going to put that aside now. I found this other little star laying here. I'm going to go ahead and add that on and grab some sequins and start adding those, but I won't watch you make I won't make you watch me adding every single sequin because it'll take a little bit. So um, I'll just fast forward that here in a bit. My son actually just dropped some little pom-poms on my desk. I don't know if you saw that, but, um, they were laying on the floor. So there, he brought them over and said, here, so baby Onyx doesn't get it because they're too small for her. And I said, yep, that's right. They're really good about looking out for their baby sister and things that are too small for her and things that she'll try to eat and possibly choke on. So they are extremely good about, um, looking out for her, but she, she actually stole a piece of pom-pom trim off of my desk while I was working and she was sitting on the floor in front of me ripping it apart and I knew she was doing it and I kind of let her go but then the boys grabbed the pom-poms before I got a chance to get them from her so <laughs> they do pretty good at being uh, big brothers for her so here I'm just pulling out a little wordy phrase with this sticker book. I'm just going to add it right there on top of that star that I added in between my photos. I've got all those beautiful sequins added on there now and that stamping by Pretty Pink Posh. It was a little camping set that I had. And then here I'm just going to pull out some other little faux stitch stickers by Pretty Little Studio. Um, I just got these in the mail not too long ago. I placed a very big order around Black Friday, so it just came and um, I'm just going to add a few of these little stitch stickers on to my layout um, to finish it off pretty much. So I think that's really about it and I don't really want to add too much more because I think this looks pretty good but I do want to add just a little bit of splatter. So I pull out my Heidi Swap Color Shine in black for this. It's my favorite black to use on my layouts. It has a nice shine and shimmer to it when it's dry so it looks really pretty. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that and I'm just going to glue down this red little acrylic bit. Both of, the, both of those acrylics are also from the Not Just Her Boys kit too. And then I felt like it needed a little something around that circle yet. So I'm going to add just a couple stars and a couple more sequins right there. <laughs> So I swear, I'm not going to add anything else. I have to like call it done at some point and stop adding because I just love to add all the things. So here's the finished layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and I hope you hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. It's free for you, but it does help me and it'll notify you of videos that I post. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.